I got some very interesting reactions. So the first one was, um, I kind of misjudged it because they knew nothing about Alderson beforehand. They kind of turned to me and said, oh, is that your excuse for hitting people? I was like, what? Like, firstly, like, I'm probably like the least violent person you can imagine. So I'm probably gonna take more punches than I'm ever gonna give. And secondly, I think they were like trained to be like a psychology student. So I'm like, what are they teaching you? Like, my goodness. When I told my housemates for my third year of uni, I moved in with one person I already knew and like two people I didn't know as well. And when I told them, it wasn't negative. It was just like, oh, cool, that's something else about you. Is there anything we can do to kind of help with that? I mean, I didn't need help to be autistic. I just needed help to live in the house. But I kind of got what they meant. Well, I think it depends on the type of housemates that you're living with at the time. So if we're referring to university, for example, you might be thrown with people who you are complete strangers to. So I would choose probably carefully who to disclose to and I'm thinking about really how I can do it as casually as I can without making like a, a set piece drama or <laughs> trying to identify the occasion in which that uh, you know you don't have to have a have a, a formal summons of people to sit at the table together while you share this information and um, you know, do it in such a way like a whodunit in a, in a crime novel. I'd almost want to say to begin with don't necessarily even mention the word um, if there's a particular situation coming up where you're thinking this might make me do something different or this may, lead, this may lead to something or may trigger something relating to my autism. Just describe what you might do in reference to what's going to happen. So like you say, like if it's something to do with like the running of a tap, if it's really high pitch, say, you know, when you run that tap, I might flinch a little, but it's just because I'm a bit noise sensitive. Um, and I think that kind of helps the people you don't know before because people have you know, different sensory inputs or different quirks, especially in their own space for a whole variety of reasons. And obviously autism can be a key factor of those, but not the only one. 80% of the time I would attract away from just saying, I'm autistic and then not really giving a particular context because I think it's got to be focused in what's gonna happen in your environment. Telling someone you're autistic it can be really scary and it shouldn't be negative. And if someone's being negative towards you when you tell them, then that is their problem for misunderstanding the kind of actual intimacy and trust you have in that person for letting them know something about yourself that is honestly terrifying to share, even when you're a confident autistic person. <laughs>